أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله الطيبين والطاهرين ما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا ونبينا وشفيعنا وحبيبنا وطبيبنا مولانا محمد وآله وصحابه وأزواجه وذرياته وأهل بيته والشيعة محبه أمة خصوصا على وائس كماله غاسنا الغاسل عصنا الشيخ عبد القادر الجيلاني وعلى سلطان الأولياء سيدنا معين الدين حسن سجري أجميري وعلى سلطان العارفين سيدنا أبو الحسن علي الشاضري رضي الله تعالى عليه مجمعين Respected brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Alhamdulillah, today is the uh, 31st, uh, uh, 31st session of the uh, Sira series. Alhamdulillah, we have learned and we have talked uh, up till the Hijra of the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the events and about the Akhad al-Mawakhat and the death of Abu Mama and our Aqeedah. Uh, uh, about uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's authority. Uh, we talked about uh, Sahaba, who they are, because uh, Sahaba and Ahl al-Bayt, this is something that uh, you'll be listening to me uh, 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 very often, especially in this uh, in this series, when we are talking about Sina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There were some questions asked, although they are controversial, um, which I... Uh, Avoid, but later on I realized that I should be responding to that one in a very simple manner instead of going into too much uh, details that may bring a lot of uh, you know other stuff and clarification also um, in terms of the aqidah of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. One of the uh, question that was asked uh, was uh, uh, can uh, denying the uh, Anyway, the, the question was in Urdu, but I'm going to uh, translate. Kya kisi sahabi ki sahabiyat ka inkar karna kufr hai? So, it means, uh, can uh, uh, denying the companionship of any sahabi uh, is kufr? Companionship means companionship with the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Sahabi is the one which I mentioned that who... Uh, has seen uh, Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam in the state of uh, Islam and Iman and dies uh, and die uh, uh, with the same uh, belief that that person is a Sahabi and highly respected and there are some ranks that I've already uh, spoken but uh, in order to respond to this question uh, the, 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 the answer is that denying the companionship of uh, the uh, Sahaba is not kufr denying the, the uh, prophethood of any prophet especially uh, it is mentioned in Quran and if uh, anyone denies Billah, like from Sina Adam, No, Idris, uh, Yusha, I mean all this uh, Ambiya Kram means the, the prophets of Allah denying them is kufr but denying the, um, the companionship of the Sahaba is not kufr except except the companionship of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu tabaraka wa ta'ala anhu because uh, we have a nothing because we have a text from Quran and denying the Quran is a kufr because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has declared the companionship sahabiyat of the of uh, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala and clearly he said that uh, he mentioned um, uh, uh, we already uh, talked about it but simply that sani yasnain idhuma fil ghar means the uh, the uh, the Prophet sallallahu taala alaihi was the second of the two immigrants, and then uh, is both, yani the messenger uh, of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, Abu Bakr were in the cave. Thaniyas nainhuma filagar, 
Mount of Sour. And uh, then Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi said to Sayyidina Abu Bakr when he was uh, very much in grief because he thought Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would be the, uh, you know, taken over by the Nauzubillah Kuffar and they will uh, Nauzubillah disrespect him and all that. So he was very much in grief. So this is what the Quran mentioned that is Yaqulu li sahibihi la tahazan inna Allah ma'ana Yani when uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to his companion, the sahibihi, which is specific, oh sahibihi means sahabi who was Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu. What he said is Yahulu li sahibi la tahazan inna Allah ma'ana means when he said to the companion Sayyidina Abu Bakr that do not grieve inna Allah ma'ana means Allah is surely with us. So subhanAllah denying any sahabi's uh, sahabiyat is not kufr but it's, 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 a, it's a sin. But denying the companionship of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu is kufr. The person uh, is not uh, mumin at all because uh, he is challenging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala denying the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in Quran so be careful and another question is another um, uh, controversial I, I don't know uh, please forgive me but you know people very much tend to listen to the controversies so uh, please feel free to ask me anything. I'm, I'm, I'm a student and I'm also learning at the same time. And people have, I'm talking about in general, they li like to listen. I mean, if you're talking about like in general, the teachings of Quran, the, the seerah, even sometimes Nauzubillah, some people think this, these are the dry subjects, Nauzubillah, instead of learning. We, we tend to go into the, these uh, controversies. So it is one of the questions uh, that has been asked many times. We see many responses. Alhamdulillah, but uh, they, someone wants to know my opinion that aapki kya rai hai Muawiya ke taluk se, yani Hazrat Muawiya radiyallahu anhu. Are there any, kya unke koi fadail hai sahi ahadis mein? Means, are there any merits of uh, uh, Muawiya uh, in sahi hadith? Simple answer is that he was a Sahabi who accepted Islam after the conquest of Makkah, yani Fatha Makkah. He was uh, among the freed ones. Uh, freed many Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi titled them Tulaqa, um, they are the freed ones. Because uh, uh, why they are freed ones, Tulaqa? means because he, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his family, uh, especially his father Abu Sufyan and uh, uh, his uh, mother um, Hinda was in many crimes uh, against the Prophet and, uh, and the religion of Allah, yani Islam. When they embraced Islam, they were forgiven by the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallama. As for Muawiyah uh, radiallahu anh, we find one hadith uh, in his merit, in general term that was recorded by Imam Tirmizi. And according to uh, uh, Hafiz ibn Abdul Bar, Hafiz ibn Hajr, the hadith masters, they uh, uh, classified as the uh, Mursal. Mursal means Atabai. Um, uh, uh, and he was from Syria and the people of Syria were very much uh, uh, into they used to fabricate a hadith also uh, for uh, Banu Umayya and especially uh, Muawiya so uh, and uh, the narrator name was Abdurrahman ibn Abi Umayra and he was according to uh, hadith master some say Sahabi some say uh, Tabai so there is a controversy on that one and he was from Shami, he was a Shami, Shami yani, uh, from Syria. Uh, so he said that Kana min ashab Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam anil nabi sallallahu alaihi wa sallam anahu qala li ma'abiyata and the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam said about ma'abiyata that Allahumma ja'alu Allahumma ja'alu hadiyam mahdiyan wahdi bihi yani uh, he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for ma'abiyata that O oh Allah make uh, him a guiding one and guide others by him that is one of the hadith so it is certainly a dua when we talk about these hadith and if you go into the sharah the commentaries of like Ibn Hajar, Awn al Ma'bud, Mubarak Furi and other like great scholars of Islam uh, first of all they rejected this hadith as a uh, marfu, marfu means it's from the, it's not from the Sahabi, it's from the Tabai, and uh, and it is a dua, dua which is in Arabic is called uh, like insha, insha means uh, um, 
uh, I mean, uh, which is the composed speech that does not uh, accept affirmation, yani a tasdiq or denial, yani um, a takzib, but rather accept the performance or carrying out or the non-performance. That is because it requests the performing of a matter whilst it does not inform about a matter. So it is like insha that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, the Messenger of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, prayed for him. And Rasulullah prayed for many uh, uh, kuffar also, many uh, people, Allah Akbar. So it is a general insha means something may happen. It is, and the other thing is called, uh, when we talk about a hadith, we look into two things, khabar or insha. Insha means something may happen. But khabar means Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is confirming something that it is going to happen. It is what it is. It's a, it, it, it is like I can go into, uh, in more detail, simply is that it is a khabar, means it is going to happen. It is going to, like, uh, uh, like, uh, Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said about, uh, Sayyidina uh, Fatima, Anti Sayyidat Nisa al Alamina, means you are the chief of the women's or Al Hassan wal Husaynu, Sayyida Shababi, Ahl al Jannah, wa Abu Huma, Khairun min Huma. Yani, uh, the Prophet said that Hassan and Hussein are the leaders, are the leaders, Sayyida Shababa, not like will be the leaders, are the leaders. Allahumma <coughs> Sallallahu Hassan and Hussein are the leaders of the youth of paradise and their father is better than them subhanallah certainly so it's 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 a it's 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 a insha'iya and it's there's nothing wrong with accepting this hadith uh, subhanallah and uh, we must uh, but like we all as a muslim mama, try to refrain from saying anything in praise of muawiyah radiallahu because if we mention one good thing then there are more than 100 things that are against win, uh, against can come up Nauzubillah and then will lower down his uh, Nauzubillah statue whatever people used to have uh, in their uh, you know Aqidah or in their concept so the, the best policy is to maintain silence in talking anything in praise of him if we talk about praise then there are so many things will uh, popped up and that may create uh, chaos uh, this is what happened Something the matter was, if some matter is sleeping, al fitna to naimat. That this is what the Prophet said. That the fitna, if the fitna is sleeping, then don't wake that fitna, you know, that temptation. And Allah, and then Rasulullah has cursed the person who uh, talk about something that is uh, sleeping right now. It's metaphorically. So let's not talk about his praises. Then we'll see into his uh, history, what he did, what he did, uh, his contribution to Islam, what he did with Khulafa al-Rashidin, what he did with Ahlul Bayt, what he did with other Sahaba, and there are so many things. So it's better to maintain silence. Do not t say anything good about him. Because the other things are going to bring some chaos. Uh, so this is... And, uh, and, and the third question, since we talked about... Uh, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. And uh, there's some question. Um, Allahumma salli ala. Since we talked about the uh, Sahaba, so they are pretty much related to uh, that Aqidah. That uh, Shia may or uh, means what is the difference uh, between Shiaism and Rafizism? You know, Rafizi kisi kehte hain, Shia kisi kehte hain. Shia means uh, a group. Or, or, or follower uh, and uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran I believe it's in Surah Al-Qasas that Allah says وَدَخَلَ الْمَدِينَةَ عَلَىٰ حِينَ غَفْلَةٍ مِنْ أَهْلِهَا فَوَجَدَ فِيهَا رَجُلَيْنِ يَقْتَتِ اللَّانَ Subhanallah means uh, Musa alayhi salam when he entered the city in Egypt and at a night when um, the people were uh, sleeping and they were not aware they were, uh, means Sidna Musa and Sidna Harun found two men fighting each other. And Sidna Musa Islam said that Hada min Shiati wa Hada min Adubi, the two uh, men who were fighting, Sidna uh, 
Musa Islam said that he is my Shia, means he is my follower, he is of my party. Subhanallah. Wa hada min adubihi, and he is from the enemies, and means from the uh, uh, from the uh, Pharaoh side. Subhanallah. So he said hada min Shiati, means he is of my party. So Shia means party, means the one who is uh, associated with the uh, with the teachings of uh, the that particular person and here is Sayyidina Musa ala nabina alayhi salatu wasalam and then what happened فَاسْتَغَافَهُ الَّذِي مِنْ شِيَعَتِهِ فَاسْتَغَافَهُ الَّذِي مِنْ شِيَعَتِهِ عَلَى الَّذِي مِنْ عَدُوبِهِ means that the man from his party مِنْ شِيَعَتِهِ asked him yani Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam for help against the other who was from his party Enemies. Fastagafa. In his part, Ya Ghos al Madad. That's what it means. Fastagafa hul ladi min shiati. Means Ya Ghos, you are my Ghos, you are my helper, you are my soccer, you are my aid at this moment from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Please help me, because the other one was the the person from from Fir'aun side was very strong. So then Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam came and helped him out. So here the Shia was used as the because we need to. Learn from Quran and Sunnah what exactly means instead of saying and or one of the question can we call Shia kafir now Zubillah no so first we understand we need to know what the meaning is and what it entails and what the, their aqidahs are so simple uh, is that uh, the Shia means the, uh, the person of that group and even Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was referred as Shia of uh, Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran وَإِنَّ مِنْ شِيَعَتِهِ لَا إِبْرَاهِيمِ yani and really uh, of uh, his party yani Sayyidina Ibrahim uh, Sayyidina Nuh alayhi's party was Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam so this is uh, what uh, uh, the Shia means the follower the after like in, First century of uh, after the uh, martyrdom of Sayyidina Imam Hussain Allah Salatu Wasalam, the Islam was divided into two parties. Actually, it was already divided uh, at the time of Khulafa uh, Rashid, especially Sayyidina Ali when uh, Muawiyah uh, departed from uh, the khil- uh, Caliphate of Sayyidina Ali and Murtaza. Although Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu has strictly commanded the whole Ummah. To follow me, alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al-khalafa wa rashidin al-mahdiyin means it is incumbent, it is compulsory for you to follow my sunnah and the sunnah of the khalafa wa rashidin al-mahdiyin means the khalafa, my successors, subhanallah. And fighting them is fighting with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it was many things, na'uzi billah. So departing from that group, astaghfirullah, that Shia. So... At the time of Sayyidina Ali ibn Murtaza, the people who were in the in the party, in the group of Sayyidina Ali, were called Shi'an, Shi'an Ali. And um, the party of uh, uh, Mu'awiyah, the people were uh, referred as Shi'an Mu'awiyah. Shi'an, they are their group. That's where these words uh, came, these terms were uh, introduced. And then later on, <coughs> this is what it is. So Shia means the follower. And later on, um, uh, after the Banu Umayyah's uh, uh, kingdom was finished, Banu Abbas started and Banu Abbas were doing, they, they were in some corruption. So the grandson of Imam Hussain alayhi salam, his name was Hazrat, uh, it is, I'm, I'm just responding to the question, what is Rafadi uh, Means what is Rafadi? Who is Rafadi? Now you understand the Shia. And their aqaid are very clear, uh, closer to uh, uh, Sunni Aqaid and Nauzu Billah we don't uh, uh, pronounce them Kafir at all. Shia Kafir. Now they are Mumin. Rafadi. Now let's talk about Rafadi. Who are Rafadi? What, what this uh, type, where this title came from? It came from Sayyidina Zaid, who was the son of Sayyidina uh, Imam uh, Zainul Abdin. And Imam uh, Zainul Abdin alayhi salam was the son of Imam Hussain ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib. Alayhi salatu wasalam. So when he uh, notice that uh, the Mansur, one of the uh, uh, the king of uh, king from Banu Abbas means uh, the, the clan of Abbas he was very much into some um, corruption so he raised uh, a war against him and a lot of people came and joined him and even Sayyidina uh, the great Faqih Imam Azam Abu Hanifa 
supported uh, Zayd ibn Ali alayhi wasalam and uh, he uh, subhanallah presented a lot of gifts and a lot of uh, support to uh, Sayyidina Imam Zayd uh, and uh, he was also a follower of Sayyidina Imam Zayd uh, so people came to uh, many people came and they said okay we will help you in one condition that you slander Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Sayyidina Umar and Sayyidina Usman then we will help you so in response to that Sayyidina Zaid ibn Ali uh, ibn, uh, Hus ibn Hussain said how can I say anything against them those who are praised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Yani Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Usman, they are praised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Quran and they are overwhelming ahadith in their praise. I cannot say that. Nauzu billah min Ali. Then they said, okay, we cannot help you. At that time, Sayyidina Zaid said, Antum rafiduna. Means you are the rejecters of the truth. And this is where the rafadi came from. Subhanallah. And are now in this uh, rafadi, uh, still we cannot. Uh, means the early scholars of Islam they never pronounce them kafir but anyone who denies the um, companionship of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu and still believe na'uzu billah that Sayyidina Aisha Siddiqa salamu alayha has committed na'uzu billah na'uzu billah sin which was um, clarified by Allah subhanahu in Quran by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah An-Nur he still believes that that person is kafir na'uzu billah uh, and it has so this is what it is and I can say so many things so I, I believe this is enough uh, it took almost 15 minutes uh, of my time uh, the questions are good since we are talking about uh, uh, Sira so we need to clarify who they are and the, the other one that I uh, promised to talk about is the Allah <coughs> Allah <coughs> Uh, about Ahlul Bayt. So we talked about Sahaba and Ahlul Bayt. Now let's uh, uh, learn about Ahlul Bayt who are uh, highly and greatly respected and the Prophet of Allah has commanded in many instances uh, to love and uh, respect uh, Subhanallah. So according to Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, all the uh, the children of uh, Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, his uh, uh, blessed wives, Mala Ali, uh, and uh, Sayyidina Imam Hassan, Imam Hussain and their uh, generations are the Ahlul Bayt it means the household of the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam and they are also referred as Ali Muhammad Subhanallah that we say Allahumma Salli Ala Sayyidina Muhammad Ali Sayyidina Muhammad Ali is also Ahlul Bayt this is a long subject but I'm just gonna go uh, pretty quick on this uh, Sayyidina Imam uh, Tirmidhi and this hadith is classified as Sahih uh, uh, Subhanallah the, uh, at, uh, at, uh, Umm Salama radiallahu ta'ala anha is the narrator the, uh, of this hadith that uh, uh, when uh, she says that when these uh, verses when, this, uh, when these verses uh, uh, revealed to the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُذْهِبَ عَنْكُمُ الرِّسَّ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ وَيُطَّحِّرُكُمْ تَطْحِيرًا means Allah intends only to remove all impurities of sins from you O people of the household Ahl al-Bayt of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam even a doubt of a trace of shortfall subhanallah and make you absolutely pure and clean by uh, blessing you with perfect purity and wholesomeness yani it's a verse of uh, surah al-ahzab verse number 33 so in the and this was reveal, revealed in the home of uh, sayyidina umm salama salam alayha the blessed wife of sayyidina muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam then rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wasallam called for sayyidina fatima to zahra and then called imam hassan sayyidina imam hussain and uh, wrap uh, him in the cloak and Ali was uh, subhanallah behind him so he wrapped uh, uh, in the cloak and then he said Allahumma haulai ahlu bayti fa'adhib anhumu rijsa wa tahirhum tathira oh Allah these are the people of my house 
So remove the rich means all the impurities from them and purify them with a thorough purification. Yani make them panjatane pak. This is what it means. Subhanallah. And they are panjatan means five uh, ton, five uh, uh, bodies and they are the pure ones. Subhanallah. So Umm Salama radiallahu ta'ala anha asked uh, uh, and and I, Ya Rasulullah, then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to her, Anti ala makaniki wa anti ala khairin. Yani you are in your place and you are uh, full of goodness. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa Ali Sayyidina Muhammad salatun da'i wa ta'ubratan tu'addi bihan akhbarat. So this is what uh, the definition of uh, the Ahlul Bayt. And Imam Muslim in his Sahih and uh, Imam Tirmidhi in his uh, Sunan with the different wording recording uh, required from uh, Sayyidina uh, uh, Zaid ibn Al-Qam ta'ala that the Messenger of Allah after performing Hajj Subhanallah <coughs> uh, uh, after performing Hajj and while coming to Madinah al-Murawwara Prophet of Allah stood up to deliver a sermon at a watering uh, place known as Khum, situated between Makkah and uh, Madinatul Munawwara. So he praised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and uh, extolled him and delivered the sermon and uh, exhorted us uh, and said now to purpose, yani amma ba'd. O people, I'm a human being, I'm about to receive a messenger uh, the, means the de, um, angel of death will come from my Lord and I uh, in response to Allah's call would, did, uh, would bid uh, uh, goodbye to you and he said but I am leaving among you two uh, weighty things subhanallah the one uh, of uh, the, uh, the one being the book of allah and which is uh, which uh, there in right guidance and uh, and light so hold fast to the book of allah and adhere to it and he exhorted us uh, that's what uh, uh, zaid ibn arqam said and uh, and hold uh, to hold fast the book of allah and then he said thumma qala وَأَهْلُ بَيْتِي أُذَكِّرُكُمُ اللَّهُ فِي أَهْلِ بَيْتِي أُذَكِّرُكُمُ اللَّهُ فِي أَهْلِ بَيْتِي أُذَكِّرُكُمُ اللَّهُ فِي أَهْلِ بَيْتِي And the members of my household, my Ahl al-Bayt, I remind you of your duties of Allah about the members of my family. He said three times, <coughs> remember Allah about the duties of uh, my family uh, members. SubhanAllah, he said three times. And Imam Tirmidhi, Radiallahu ta'ala anhu uh, recorded that Nur, uh, Zayd ibn Arqam radiallahu ta'ala anhu uh, that the, he said that the Prophet sallallahu said inni tarikum fikum ma in tamassaktum bihi lan tadillu ba'di means indeed I am living among you that which if you hold fast to them you shall not be misguided after me ahaduma al zamu min al akhir means and one of them is greater than the other one كتاب الله حبل ممدود في السماء إلى الأرض سبحان الله. The book of Allah is a rope extended from the sky to the earth. And my family وعترتي أهل بيتي means the 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 people of my house. And then Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم said ولن يتفرق حتى يرد علي الحوز. They shall not be split until they meet at the house of Qasr. سبحان الله. You know on the day of judgment. فَانْذُرُوا كَيْفَ تَخْلُقُونِ فِيهِمَا So look at how you deal with them after me. Allahu Akbar. So subhanAllah, it was, it's a great task and, and, uh, and a trial from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to, to his home, uh, how to how the people will be uh, behaving with the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Ahl al-Bayt and Imam Muslim, um, the hadith numbers 600, uh, 6220 and Imam Tirmidhi uh, 3724 record that uh, Hazrat Amir ibn uh, Sa'ad heard, uh, narrated from his father, Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas, one of the 
a great Sahabi, he was among the Asha Mubarshara. He said that uh, Amara Mu'awiyat ibn Abi Sufyan uh, na Sa'adin, yani, uh, Mu'awiyat ibn Abi Sufyan uh, an, ordered Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas ta'ala anhu, to revile and say something bad about uh, Sayyidina Ali. And Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas rejected. Then Mu'awiyah said, Ma yamna'uka an tasub Aba Turab means what prevent you from insulting Abu Turab. Abu Turab is saying Ali because they used to, instead of saying Ali, they were to say Abu Turab, the, the person of, uh, of mud, Allah Akbar. Because one of the titles that was Rasulullah has been given to him. So they think that this is one of the insulting words, Nauzibil. Anyway, so uh, then uh, Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas said that the three things that I remember from Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam prevent me from abusing or saying anything, uh, uh, you know, reviving to him, astaghfirullah. Well, that I should have uh, uh, even one, um, those things are more beloved to me than red camels, subhanAllah. Because I heard the Messenger of Allah, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, is speaking to Ali uh, and um, he had left him behind one of the battles, actually, it was Tabuk. So Sayyidina Ali said to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, Ya Rasulullah, you leave me behind with women and children. So the Messenger of Allah, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, said to Sayyidina Ali al-Murtada, Ama tarda an takuna minni bi manzirati Haruna min Musa, illa annahu la nabi, la nabuwa taba'adi. Yani, are you not pleased that you should be in the position with me that Harun السلام, was with Musa السلام, except that there is no prophethood after me. And on the, uh, on the day of uh, the battle of Khaybar, uh, Sa'ad said that I heard uh, Rasulullah sallallahu saying that I shall give the banner to a man who loves Allah and his messenger and Allah and his messenger love him the most. Allahu Akbar. So we all waited for that. Then um, uh, uh, Sayyidina Rasulullah said, call Ali for me. Uh, and then he said, so Ali, uh, uh, Sa'ad said that Ali came to Rasulullah sallallahu and he, yani Ali radiallahu ta'ala, and who had been suffering from Ramad and um, what do you call the, the, uh, uh, an eye condition, I, I paid. So uh, Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam put his... Uh, 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 blessed spittle uh, in his eye and gave the banner to him, yani Ali. Then Allah granted uh, him the victory. And then the third thing that uh, Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqad mentioned to Mu'awiyah that when this ayah of uh, Surah Ali Imran 61 was revealed, فَقُلْنَا دُعَبْنَاعَنَا وَأَبْنَاكُمْ وَنِسَاعَنَا وَنِسَاكُمْ وَأَنفُسَنَا وَأَنفُسَكُمْ ثُمَّ نَبْطَهِ الْفَنَجَعَ اللَّعْنَةُ اللَّهِ عَلَى الْكَاذِبِينَ yani, uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam to say to the, uh, the Christians of Najran for the mubahila means just curse each other Allah Akbar if uh, the people who are truth will be safe and the, the people who are the deniers of the truth will be uh, vanished or they be mutilated in uh, pigs or apes or something. Allah Akbar. It was a great challenge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa to go and challenge them. That, uh, which means uh, the, the, the verse uh, of uh, Surah Al-Ali Imran uh, 61, the translation is that come, let us jointly call our sons and your sons. Our women, your women, ourselves and yourselves at the same place. Okay. Then we supply, uh, supplicate for Wentley, yani, I, 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 that is most submissively and invoke the curse of Allah upon the liars. Allah Akbar. And then what uh, Rasulullah did was the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam called Sayyidina Ali, Sayyidina, Sayyidina, Sayyidatuna Fatima, uh, Sayyidina Imam Hassan, Sayyidina Imam Hussain alayhi, alayhi wa sallam and said when they were coming into that ground, he said Allahumma how will I ahl wayti? How will I ahli? How will I ahli? Ya Allah, these are my family. These are my ahl al bayt. Subhanallah. So these are the three things that uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa has talked very highly about Ali and his family. So I cannot say anything against Sayyidina uh, uh, Ali al murtada That's what he mentioned to the Mu'awiyah uh, in his uh, monarchy time. Subhanallah. <coughs> 
And uh, Imam Bukhari in his Sahih recorded the saying of Sayyidina Abu Bakr SubhanAllah, this is the aqidah that Sayyidina Abu Bakr As-Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu is given to the whole Ummah SubhanAllah And it is narrated by Sayyidina Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma uh, That uh, قال, قال Abu Bakr Urqubu Muhammadan Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam Fi ahl bayti Watch or find Urqubu Muhammadan Find Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam In the people of his Household in Ahlul Bayt. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Means be respectful. Be dutiful to the family of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's why Sayyidina Abu Bakr is giving the Aqidah. And he practiced in his whole life. He respected the Ahlul Bayt. SubhanAllah. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. Abdul Sahaba. Bit Tahqiq. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. Allahu Akbar. Means dealing in any matter with Ahlul Bayt is dealing with the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. So be mindful and uh, the, with the utmost respect. I can mention many uh, hadiths in their merits, but I believe you got the grasp on who the Sahaba are, are how to respect, uh, who the Ahlul Bayt and how to respect. SubhanAllah, there are over, overwhelming hadiths. I need at least, uh, at least 10 hours to talk about this. Allah Akbar. So, Subhanallah. Vayyakum kazalik. Jazakallah. No, no, I'm not mad at all. Astaghfirullah. The question was, uh, no, no, you did not uh, upset me. This is a question we should ask. Many people, they come and ask, who are these? What is these? It's nothing. Like, you know, Subhanallah. It is better to know our aqidah, where we are standing, what we call. Subhanallah, Islam is divided in Nauzibillah. Uh, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, astaghfirullah, whatever you say, mashallah, of 73 sects. And Alhamdulillah, we are following um, according to uh, Rasulullah, which he commanded that uh, follow my sunnah and uh, and uh, Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdiyin and another hadith that Ma'ana uh, Alihi wa Sahabi, just follow which I, am, I have brought to you and follow what Sahaba are practicing. So, the, the, the righteous Sahaba, especially the Sahaba who embraced Islam prior to the Sulay Hudaybiyah, which we'll talk later, is what Sulay Hudaybiyah is, subhanAllah, in the 6th Hijri. And prior to that one, the Sahaba, their ranks are very, very, very high uh, than those who accepted Islam after uh, Fatha Makkah or after Sulay Hudaybiyah. And they cannot reach to their level, Allah, at all. Which I mentioned last week. So now let's talk about Ashab Sufa. Means after building the masjid in Madinah al Munawwara, the Prophet of Allah, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam, supported uh, uh, the poor companions, the Sahaba, and a Sufa. Uh, it's, it's a porch or or, or what do you call uh, a, a veranda was constructed on one side of the Masjid al Nabawi. Ala Sahibi Hafsa Salat wa Akmal Taslimat. So I was talking about Ashab uh, Sufa and that was uh, constructed by the command of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and open on open uh, on all sides and covered with the palm um, subhanallah branches so these poor uh, Muslim Sahaba, Subhanallah Sahaba, uh, who had no family nor home would live here and uh, they, uh, uh, they were called the Ashab Sufa or Ahl Sufa, Subhanallah, which literally means the people of the bench. Uh, sometimes their numbers would increase or decrease. When some of them either married uh, or, or, or went to battle and uh, settled uh, elsewhere or passed away. So it was basically a Zawiya. In, uh, in Tasawwuf it's called Khanqa or Convent, uh, where the Sahaba used to receive a lot of knowledge by observing uh, the blessed days and nights of the blessed Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, observing his ibadah, the you know, worship and activities and they used to record uh, 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 so these are the ones and alhamdulillah we have uh, convents and in a different forms like it's also a convent 
It's also Khanqa that we are talking about Allah and His uh, Blessed Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Sallam uh, for, uh, for the education purpose because education is a must Allahu Akbar So these are the Sahaba, they help Islam SubhanAllah uh, in a great manner So according to some sources uh, that more than 100 companions were said to be uh, from the Ahlul Sufa their provision would be uh, procured, uh, means yani, yani, obtained by the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Wasallam He would ask those companions who were well off to help them And this is how and the Sahaba, other Sahaba, they used to bring some sadaqat and, uh, and uh, bring it to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And Rasulullah used, used to distribute to them or, or maintain uh, for their food, clothing, and sheltering, subhanAllah. So this is very good, uh, and Imam Bukhari uh, in his Sahih has recorded uh, hadith from uh, Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu that these people of Sufa were the guests of Islam, subhanAllah, who had no families, um, uh, nor money, nor um, anybody to depend upon and whenever an object of charity was brought to the Prophet Sallallahu he would send it to them and would not take anything from it SubhanAllah and whenever any present was given to the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu so Sayyidina Sallallahu Alaihi used to send some for them and take uh, some of uh, it for himself and uh, Sayyidina uh, uh, yani, uh, Imam Bukhari Rahimahullah uh, mentioned that the Ahlul Sufa would work when they found work and when they did not uh, they would occupy themselves with learning and worshipping in the mosque uh, Majid Nabawi <clears throat> those of the Ahlul Sufa who were strong enough would perform all kinds of uh, tasks such as um, uh, according to Imam Bukhari would uh, carry uh, carrying wood from the mountains and uh, water on their backs and they would buy food for their friends uh, with the money that they earn subhanallah they used to this is how the mawakhat the, the brotherhood is to help each other they don't want to see anything and the other sahaba also this is why the, 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 the blessed times of the sahaba was the great time was the blessed time they used to take care of each other they don't want to like compete. Hey, I have this much money. You got that much. Oh, you are lowered because you are you don't have. No, 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 Billah. They were clean-hearted people. They used to help each other because they know what the reward is on the day of judgment. Subhanallah. They were looking to their actual future. Well, akhirat khairun wa abuqad. Akhirat that is uh, better and uh, Subhanallah. So. Subhanallah, and uh, they were so concerned with their dignity and uh, propriety uh, that they would avoid any act that could harm their characters so they would not ask for anything from anyone Allahu Akbar so, although they are in need of things but they don't ask the Ahl Sufa were very learned generally being the uh, the companions uh, who transmitted the guest number of ahadith like Sa'ad ibn uh, Ibn Ibn Waqasam, no Abu Sa'id al Khudri and uh, Abu Huraira who came later, Subhanallah. People who uh, came to Medina for a short time in order to learn about Islam because learning is the first thing. When you are entering Islam, you should know what Islam is, what my aqaid are, what my beliefs have to be, what practices should I be doing, what are my duties. Those are the things. This is what all the Islam is. Islam is not just saying La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah and then you are Muslim. Of course you are Muslim. But there are some practices. Okay, you need to do in order to uh, prove that you are mumin in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, so the people who come uh, like uh, they, from Madinah, they learn about Islam, would meet with the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ta'ala alayhi wa, alayhi wa sallam, and would also learn from the Ahlul Sufa. They used to say and learn from them, Allahu Akbar. Whenever a teacher was to be absent to, to Muslim tribes who were outside of Medina, this teacher would be the chosen from the Ahlul Sufa. The Ahlul Sufa are next in line, line after the Khulafa Rashidin, according to the scholars, the, the, the rightly 
uh, four uh, rightly caliphs of uh, Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi So the Ashra and Mubashira, the ten companions, were promised ones and the Ashabi Badr, the soldiers in terms of virtue. So they were after that. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the Most High, has praised them in various verses in the Quran, Surah Baqarah, uh, verse 273, that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, it is for the poor those who are restrained in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and unable to travel in the land the unaware would think them rich due to their reticence yani maintaining silence in a in a dignified manner, although they are in, but they don't ask, subhanAllah. So we should be looking for the people. They are sitting there like white cloth people, Sufayat Posh Halog, okay? They don't ask, go and check Allah Akbar. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ta'rifun bi simahum. You will recognize them by their features. La yasaluna nasa il hafa, subhanAllah. They do not ask from people insist, uh, insistently Allah whatever charity you give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is aware of it subhanAllah many people they try to show off giving I see people standing in a line and one person is distributing stuff Allah this is not right try to at least cover their faces please in just to, if you're showing that you know I'm helping and the person is doing trying to show that's okay, uh, but not with their pictures anyway. Allah <laughs> Sayyidina Imam uh, Yani uh, Sayyidina Imam Abi Dawud Rahimahullah has recorded in his Sunan that uh, uh, Abu Sayyid Al Khudri Allah Taala who said that I was sitting in the company of the were members of the immigrant family with Ahlul Sufa. Some of them were sitting together because of uh, lack of clothing, uh, trying to like, like cover themselves because they had most of Allah uh, lack of due to the lack of clothing. So uh, and they were uh, reciting to us all of a sudden the best uh, creation of Allah Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallama, came along and stood uh, beside us because Sayyid Abu Sayyid Al Khudri was among the Ahlul Sufa also. And the Messenger of uh, Allah Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam stood, the reader stopped and Sayyid Salatu Wasalam Aliki Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with utmost respect. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked, What are you doing? And then the Sahabu Sufa said, Ya Rasulullah, we had a reader who was uh, reciting to us and we were listening to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, yani sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said alhamdulillahi ladhi ja'ala min ummati man umirtu an asbira nafsi ma'ahum yani uh, all praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has put among my people my ummah my nation those who with the whom I have been ordered to stay subhanallah subhanallah the messenger of Allah then sat among um, uh, the uh, Ahlul Sufa so to be like one of uh, Ahlul Sufa Allahu Akbar when he had made a sign with his hand they sat in a circle with their faces turned towards Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam this is what the Ahlul Sufa and this is what happened because uh, uh, nowadays in Khanqa the Shaykh sit in the in the middle or at the corner and then and the disciples you know they circle circle around him and this is the sunnah and they do zikrullah this is where the zikr and all this came from and then they were looking at the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam so coming back to this hadith uh, then Rasulullah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam said to them أبشروا يا معشر سعاليك المحاذين بالنور التام يوم القيامة تدخلون الجنة قبل أغنياء الناس بنصف يوم وذاك خمسمائة سنة الله أكبر. The Messenger of Allah said, Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said 
to the Ahlul Sufa. Oh, Ahlul Sufa, rejoice, be joyful. You, your group of people, of uh, immigrants, in the announcement that you will have perfect life on the day of uh, resurrection, you will enter paradise half a day before the rich, and that is 500 years. Allahu Akbar. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa barik wa salim. So brothers and sisters in Islam, Alhamdulillah, we talked about uh, what I was uh, uh, commanded to so do so and we talk about Ashab al-Sufa. Inshallah, I try to recite the blessed names of uh, Ahlul Sufa uh, next week. Uh, Inshallah, I try. Inshallah, just to uh, take the blessings uh, from them and like just pronouncing their names the names are also very uh, blissful so inshallah ta'ala we'll do that may allah accept uh, uh, our good deeds uh, may allah forgive me uh, if i uh, knowingly or unknowingly or mistakenly has done any mistake during this uh, seerah uh, may allah forgive me and making you my witness in this world that uh, i am repenting uh, i am uh, I'm doing istighfar and repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Astaghfirullah al-Azim 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 al Let's be witness to each other and um, say Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruk wa atubi ilayk. Wa ma'alayna illa al-Balaq. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.